The main event is live and on the scene. The Big D Zone Will Capuzano defends the flyweight strap against undefeated submission specialist Alan Nascimento. Legacy Fighting Championship 19 on XS TV will be back in a moment. Welcome back to Dallas, Texas, where Legacy Fighting Championship number 19 is truly alive and a happening at the Al Event Center. A fantastic crowd on hand as we prepare for our main event. The 125 pound title on the line, the defending champion, Will Camposano, puts the strap up for the first time against the undefeated Brazilian, Alan Nascimento. Michael Chavello, Pat Militich with you. Pat, we turn our attention to that main event. Nascimento undefeated 7-0. Camposano more confident than we've ever seen him before. And he's a guy who's always confident. But as we said earlier this week, he came out and said, all Brazilians are overrated. I am going to make a point of Nascimento tonight. There is no way Nascimento can stop my takedowns. No way he can take me down and I'm going to school him standing up. That might be the place where Camposano has the advantages in the wrestling. Um, but Nascimento, we talked about it. He's undefeated. Never lost in Muay Thai. Never lost in MMA. The guy is motivated. And when somebody talks bad about you and your country, trust me, you're coming out guns blazing. Okay, Pat, let's play super coach for a moment. First of all, if you're in the corner of the champ, Will Camposano, what are you telling him to do? I'm telling him to go out, set up your takedowns, throw good flurries, and get those takedowns because Nascimento gets wild. You don't want a guy early on in a fight to get wild. So get the takedown fairly early, set it up, put him on his back, make him carry your weight, and, and look for a submission or some ground and pound. If you're in the corner of the challenger? Nascimento's got to lower his level. He's He really does have to keep things under control because he gets a wild sure. That's a double-edged sword. You can knock somebody out with a wild shot, but you leave yourself open and can get caught. Pat, speaking from experience, is there more pressure on a fighter like Camposano tonight when he's putting the belt on the line for the very first time? Absolutely. You know, a lot of guys have said it in the past. Matt Hughes was one of the first guys in MMA to say it. You know, you can win the belt. You might have, you might have got lucky on that night. But to back it up and win it and defend it, that's when you prove you're a champion. So we'll see if Campuzano is the, defer, uh, the def, you know, defending champion tonight. Campuzano will come in the favorite with the bookmakers at minus 300. Alan Nascimento, the comeback on him at plus 220. We are ready for our main event. And let's recap the night first of all. What a night it's been here at Legacy Fighting Championship number 19. We open up with Kevin Aguilar, 7-0 against Hunter Tucker, 5-0. Aguilar, a house on fire. Victorious in the very first round. Final submission. Remains undefeated. Second fight of the night, Ray Trujillo versus Chris Jones. We said it wouldn't get out of the first round. It didn't get out of the first round. Ray Trujillo brought the pain. Pounded out, Chris Jones. Next up, Stephen Ocho Peterson took on the Romanian George Pacadariu. I won't say anything except sit back and watch one of the great knockouts. Boom! Pacadariu. First overhand right. Now watch this. Bang! Second overhand right. Good night, Irene. Nelson Salas brought in an undefeated record 4 0 as he took on Matt Hobar. 6 and 1. Salas thought Hobar would tire. Hobar did not tire. Hobar's wrestling time and time again proved too much. He suplexed Salas. He had Salas on his back for most of the fight. He won by a decision. TJ Lindemann came in 13 and 4, looking to be the first man to put a blemish on the record of undefeated Robert Drysdale, 5 and 0. It was not to be. As soon as Drysdale gets you down, it's only a matter of time. And in our co-main event, the veteran Din Thomas took on Georgie Kanekanyan. Din Thomas did a great job of protecting a damaged left eye. It was a close one. Thomas, though, through towards the end. It was too little, too late. Din Thomas just a little bit better in all aspects here tonight. 
and he took a unanimous decision. Katakanyan, 30-27 on two judges' scorecards, took it 3-0. Once again, main event time now, Nascimento versus Camposano. Camposano's 125-pound title on the line. Camposano the favourite, Nascimento the underdog. Let's take a closer look at our main event. Brazilians are overrated. A lot of the guys come over with the huge records and like all these guys are fighting bombs, they're not finding anyone. Os brasileiros são os que estão despontando desde as últimas das últimas décadas. Na MMA, os brasileiros estão despontando, são donos de todos os cinturões possíveis em todos os eventos. E eu não me prendo ao jiu-jitsu. Se eu precisar nocautear, eu vou nocautear ele. Eu me prendo à vitória. Se eu ganhar no jiu-jitsu, eu ganhei. Brazilians don't wrestle, obviously, uh, so they shit out of luck. Eu sei que ele tem mãos muito boas é, e, e trabalha muito bem as joelhadas. Ele é um cara da trocação, que ele, ele não busca a luta de solo. Mas eu também não vou buscar a luta de solo. Eu vou buscar a luta que eu me encaixar melhor. Eu já sei o que é ser campeão na minha vida no Brasil, agora eu vou vir buscar o que é ser na América. Defender o título, para mim, é apenas colocar um statement na minha carreira. Hoje eu quero provar para todos quem eu sou e o que eu sou capaz de fazer. É o momento que nós estamos esperando. Will Campesano põe a 125-pound strap na linha pela primeira vez ever ever contra o undefeated Alan Nascimento, o jovem que eles chamam o próximo grande coisa do no Brasil. Nascimento, only 21 years old. From the famed Shootbox Academy, also with legacy champion George Macchiaco Pettino in the corner tonight. Supremely confident is Nascimento. Even more confident is Camposano. We could have a classic on our hands for our main event. Defeated Nascimento. Look at the submissions there. Four on the trot before that a TKO of MSM Pishina. He has been truly unstoppable, Nascimento. Such a talented young man. And look at the slow, zen-like approach of the cage here. Bit by bit, sucking himself up. Visualizing the victory here tonight. The biggest fight of his blossoming career. They call him Little Anderson, and you'll see why. A succulent Muay Thai striker. 5-0 pro Muay Thai record. Never known defeat. What must that feel like? Will Camposano be the first man to put a blemish on Nascimento's record? He trained with Diego Lima in Brazil up until April 1st. Finished up at Macaco's gym in Houston. And let's play super coach with comments from Pat Militic. Nascimento is a talented guy. You don't want to sit in behind him. You can see how he hooks the leg, rolls through for the knee bar. If you make that mistake with a good grappler, you're going to get yourself in trouble. Here his opponent made the mistake, rolls through, does a nice job adjusting, pinching the knees together on the leg, and he turns his opponent's hip down, the leg he's attacking, which is very important on the knee bar, grabs the heel, tightens it up. Some people think this is a heel hook. It's not a heel hook. He's cranking on the knee to dislocate the knee joint, which is uh, a real scary submission if you're caught in it. 10 weeks in Brazil, 10 days in the USA for his training camp. He says Camposano has good hands, good knees, but believes that he has superior Muay Thai skill to Camposano and will handle him on the feet. 
We asked him to call a prediction. He said KO. Didn't even have to think about it. He says Campesano will stand and trade with him. We wouldn't get on the inside and box, and that will be the big mistake that Campesano will make tonight. The Brazilian flag flying proudly. 21 years old. The world at his feet. Will he have championship gold around his waist? Nascimento wait a little. Will Camposano. Always confident, always focused. The added pressure tonight of putting the belt on the line, defending it for the very first time. As Pat said, there's a lot of people out there who believe that you're not a true champion until you've defended the championship. Patrick of wins coming in tonight over Jimmy Flick. Last time out was one of his finest performances. Those big fights that he's been in hopefully will pay off for him against the undefeated fighter from Brazil tonight, Nascimento. Having been in the spotlight before, it certainly helps. You go in a little bit calmer, although Nascimento seems pretty happy right now. He's smiling the whole, the whole way in. The quote from Camposano earlier this week, I quote, he's going to get knocked out. He will have a Brazilian game plan, Muay Thai and Jiu-Jitsu. Brazilians are overrated. The whole country is. Let's play Supercoach with comments from the Supercoach, Pat Milicic. Campuzano's a well-balanced fighter. Here he is in a scramble, trying to take his opponent down. Spins off, throws the knee nicely. You know, in those transitions, great fighters can throw. He throws the knee, has the foot planted already, has his opponent off balance when he spins him and fires the knee up into his opponent's head and drops him and goes in for the finish. That's what great fighters do, is strike in those transition periods. The tail of the tape here between Camposano and Nascimento. Nascimento undefeated, he is five years the younger, one inch the shorter, weight is even, three inches in reach in the arms, for Alan Nascimento. Striking even. Ground game, Camposano. Speed, Camposano. Strength and endurance to the champ. Camposano in the cage. We are ready for our main event of Legacy 19. Let's go up to Colin Cantrell. Ladies and gentlemen here in attendance and those of you watching live on Access TV around the world, it's time for the big one. Our main event of the evening is being brought to us by Star Motorcycles and it's scheduled for five championship rounds in the Legacy Flyweight Division. Introducing first on my right, fighting out of the Star Motorcycles Blue Corner. Our challenger stands five feet, eight inches tall, his official weight, 123 and one quarter pounds. The submission fighter enters tonight's championship fight with a perfect record of seven wins and no defeats. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Alan Puro Osa Nascimento. And across the cage on my left, fighting out of the lockout supplements, red corner. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, his official weight, 123 and one quarter pounds. This dynamic striker holds a record of 11 wins and four losses. Your reigning and defending legacy flyweight champion, Will Capuzano. You are in charge of the action, Don Turnage. Gentlemen, you're here in the rules for you stepped in this cage tonight. There's three things I want you to do for me. Fight when I say.